time for another tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today I'm going to talk about index internals. More specifically, I will show you that every non-clustered index has the clustering key. Now this is something that is popularly known that each non-clustered index needs to have some kind of pointer to the base table whenever it wants to perform a lookup. So in case the table has a clustered index, each non-clustered index that we create on the table will have the clustering key so that it can perform a bookmark lookup. And in case the table is a heap, which is a table without a clustered index, then the non-clustered indexes will have the row identifier and it will help uh, the optimizer to perform a RID lookup. So with this help of, uh, of a very simple quick demo, I will get inside the uh, index internals index metadata and structures to show you that the non-clustered index contains the clustering key. So let's get started. I'm using AdventureWorks 2016 and we are going to create a copy of this table sales order header. Let's just go and look into the attributes that we have here, sales order ID, a few dates. And if you scroll all the way to the right, we have like subtotal, total due, etc. We are going to make a copy of this table sales order header as SOH. And then let's go and look into SP help index. It's a heap right now, as you know. So this table SOH does not have any indexes. Now let's create a clustered index on this table. Our column that we are going to use as clustering key is sales order ID. Very simple statement, create clustered index, the name of the index on the table and the attribute. Remember, this is a single column clustered index. You can always create a multi-column index as well. Now we are going to create a non-clustered index and this time the non-clustered index is on total due. For non-clustered index, you can either write create non-clustered index or you could just write create index. Either way is fine. It's always good to include the non-clustered keyword for more clarity. Now we have two indexes. Let's go and quickly look into SP help index and you will see that yes, we have the clustered index on sales order ID and the non-clustered index on total due. Now we have this internal command called DBCC IND. IND here stands for index and we're going to look into AdventureWorks 2016 and the table sales order header SOH sorry and then we have the parameters here which will say the index ID that we want to see. So let's go and look into zero which will give us the uh, first index uh, which is the clustered index and that's why it has the index ID one and you can see these are all the index pages and this is the index allocation map uh, page ID which is 5483 and you, you can see that all these pages have the IAM pointer to 5483. Uh, but we are interested in the non-clustered index. So if you scroll down, if you look at the number of records, 795 there, all these pages belong to index ID 1 which is the clustered index. Now, if you supply the parameter two, which is the next statement that I'm going to execute, then I'm going to get all the records for index ID two, which is the non-clustered index. And if you take any page number here, let's say three, four, seven, eight, six, four, let's just kind of copy this and paste it here. This is one of the non-clustered index pages. And I also want to show you one more thing. If you go and look into page type, page type 10 stands for IAM page and page type 2 stands for index page. Um, and there is index level as well, which is interesting. So level zero stands for leaf level, which means uh, the index is uh, always a B tree structure. So at least there has to be a root page uh, and the leaf level. And there could be intermediate pages as well, depending on how large, how big the index is. So if I keep scrolling down here, one of the page here has index level one, and this is the root page. And rest of the pages, remaining pages are all at index level zero, which means they are at leaf level. So what I can do is pick up, actually pick up any uh, index page here from the leaf level. So let's pick up three, four, seven, eight, six, four. And what I can do is just copy this 347864 and supply it here. I'll come to that in a moment. Now what we want to do is I want to show you the page content for this index page 347864. 
just a quick recap what are we trying to do now we are going into the non clustered index page the 8k page and we are going to see what's inside this page does it really have a pointer to the base table in other words does it really have the values for that column sales order id because sales order id is the clustering key uh, the clustered index is on this column so all that we want to see is that it has total due the values from total due column and it has values from the sales order id column that's all we want to see to dump the page content out uh, we are going to use this command called dbcc page and to see the output of the page uh, which is in memory and we want to dump it on the console uh, to enable that we need to turn on a trace flag called 3604 so these are just some of the requirements so let's go and turn off the trace flag turn on the trace flag and then dump this page out now there are different dump styles like 0 1 2 3 um, so 2 is 2 is not what I want to see because it has a lot of metadata and this is the memory dump of the page. I will use the style 3, dump style 3, which will actually give me the output in a very readable table format. So let's go and look into this one, dump style 3, execute here and yes, there you go. Now what you can see is, okay, this is the page ID, fair enough, the row, the levels, all that is okay. Look at this, this is the column total due, right? And it says key, so the non-clustered index was created on this uh, column value. And, and look at this, this is sorted, right? The moment you create an index on a specific attribute, the data is sorted by the values of that attribute. So starting from 1.5, which is the lowest value for this column, all the way to one of the highest uh, values out there so that's one of the things and yes this is what we wanted to see so we have the sales order id this is the clustering key now if you remember the definition of the non-clustered index we did not specify anything to do with sales order id we simply said create a non-clustered index on this table soh uh, with the column total due but sales order id which is the clustering key is automatically included and why when the optimizer is seeking on total due and if your select list has some attributes that are not part of the non-clustered index and if the optimizer thinks that a lookup needs to be done then this key is going to be utilized to perform a bookmark lookup okay with this the demo is over and you can now see this in reality this yes every non-clustered index has the clustering key if the table has clustered index Otherwise, the table will um, have, um, in, case, in case there is no clustered index, then the non-clustered index will have a row identifier, which will help the optimizer to perform an RID lookup. All right, we are done. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.